Hey, what's up everyone? We're here today with a quick unboxing and first impressions of the Shone Design Full Ultim Fountain Pen. I don't know why I did a size comparison of the box with my phone. It's not even like a box case for the pen. It's literally just the shipping box. So don't ask, don't know. But here is the box when you first open it. You have some papers on top as well as some stickers. We'll get to that here shortly. I believe, yeah, I'm going to show this stamp on the inside first. It says your order is wrapped inside this paper. Take care when opening. Have a great day. Nice, cute little stamp there on the inside. And then we have these four things that were on top. We have a got a question and there's a QR code that takes you to the frequently asked questions on Shown Design. And we have like a little picture ad type deal of their crinkle metal pens. That's not the name, that's just what I call them. Um, and then a happy new pen day, just a cute little letter. Gotta appreciate that. And then two cute stickers. Always, always, always appreciate getting stickers. It's just one little detail that makes the product for me, honestly. It just raises it up a bar. And then inside of this paper, we have the tube that houses the pin. But before I open that, I think I'm gonna, for some reason, take out the paper and then take out the shipping label on the inside that just has like the order Again, I don't know why I'm showing these things. I was talking to my mom as I was recording this video and I was like, mm, I'm just gonna record the whole experience. So yeah, here it is, just the order. Yeah, okay. And then the tube, I really appreciate that the pen is in a tube. Um, if you're not gonna put it in like a nice case, then nice to put it in a tube to really protect it. And then I just spun it around because I wanted to see that sticker. I guess that's there to add friction. And then that tube, when a pin's not in it, it makes a very nice noise, so I'll be quiet. Very satisfying, love that. I could just do that all day. <laughs> um, but here's the pin. First impression, taking it out of the tube is, holy cow, this is lighter than I expected. It weighs like next to nothing, it feels like. And it's also smaller than I expected for a full size pin. That's a size comparison with my iPhone 13 Pro. Same size as the normal size iPhone. So yeah, not a huge pen for a full size, but it's good. Um, also a size comparison with a bottle of Tabasco because I was recording this in my dining room after eating my birthday lunch. <laughs> so yeah, not super long but it's still long enough to be comfortable, especially since it post. Lovely concave grip. You're not going anywhere. You're not slipping. Yeah, posted. Don't even feel the cap in the back like at all. It's so light. So if you hate capping like I do, because usually the cap is so heavy on the back, not a problem here. Lots of threads for putting the section into the body, which is great. The converter came the way you see it now, and then I twisted it like I'm doing now so that I could uh, just be ready to ink it up as soon as I was ready. So that's why I left it uh, fully extended like that. Threading it back in takes a little while, but that's no problem. I will be eyedroppering it later, so that's good. You definitely want to see it not having any leaking problems and I do not think this pin will be having any leaking problems with how many o-rings and threads this bad boy has. Beautiful clean nib. At first I was thinking it'd be nice if it had a shown design logo on it but every nib has a logo on it. It's kind of boring so having this like clean sleek nib really matches this pin and it's definitely growing on me the more I see it the more I love it. Also love the kind of slightly pointed finials on each end of the pen. That was one of the major selling points for the full size. I feel like I'm a nobody. Wonder if forever amount to much. Seems 
like no matter what I do, it's never gonna be good enough. Should I just give up?